Okay, let's continue on with the chapter. Uh, we're looking at lower of cost or market now. So we're looking at the inventory items, and you can see my example here. We're an electronic store now, and this electronic store has lots of different items, but two of the items are different types of TVs and different types of computers. So these are the categories, TV category and computer category. In the TV category, we've got plasma, and we've got LCD computer, I mean, TVs. In the computer area, we've got PCs, but we also have laptops. Now you can see I put up some uh, numbers so that we can take a look at how we do this lower of cost or market. Because with inventory, we always carry our inventory at the lower of the cost or the current market value of the item. Okay, That's how we carry our inventory. Now there's different methods on how we do this. We're going to look at that in just a second. So you can see here we have 10 plasma, 20 LCD, TVs, 15 PCs, 10 laptops. Here are the costs, $500 for the plasma. So what we need to do now is we need to carry this across. What's the total cost of plasma TVs? Well, we're gonna take the 10 units times the $500 value, which the cost that we paid for it, and that gets us $5,000 cost, okay? Now the market value right now, they've gone up, which is good for us, okay? The actual market value is 55, $550, so that's a total market of $5,500, okay? Now, on homework and tests, this information has to be given to you. You have to know what the categories are, what the items are, you have to know the unit values and the, the cost and the market. What you're gonna be doing is finishing this up. You've gotta get your total costs for every item and category. You have to get your total market cost value for each item and then category. And then we're going to look at what's lower, the cost or market. And we're going to do it in three different ways, items, category, and the whole inventory. Okay, so let's continue on now. Okay, we were given 20 LCD TVs. Uh, the cost right now was $600, that's what we paid for them. So the total then is 12,000, uh, 12, 20 times 600 is 12,000. And then 20 times our market price, what the market cost right now is, is 620. So that would get us 12,400. 20 times 620 is 12,400. So the total market is that. Now I'm going to put um, subtotals here because for the TV category, our subtotal for total cost would be 17,000. And our subtotal for the category for TVs for the market would be 17,000. 900. Okay. Now let's continue on. We're going to do the same thing with our next, our next items and categories. Okay. PCs. We have 15 times a thousand dollars. Okay. So that's fifteen thousand dollars is our total cost for the PCs, and then fifteen times nine is thirteen nine hundred is thirteen thousand five hundred. Okay. Now. 10 laptops times $700, it says 7,000. And 10 uh, laptops times $650, it says 6,500. Now let's total these up. So that's 22,000, and this is 20,000. Okay, I'm just totaling them up. 15 and seven is 22, 13, five and six, five is 20,000. So if this is, total by categories. Now I want to know what the total for each each column is, okay? So we take the 17 times the 22, so that would get us 39,000. And then 17,9 times 37, I'm sorry, 17,9 times 20 is 37. I'm uh, thinking a little bit faster than I'm writing. Okay, so 17,900 plus the 20,000 for the computer, so the TVs and the computers, total 37,900. Okay, so now we've done all of our math calculations. Now we need to apply this by item, by category, the CAT is category, and by the whole inventory. Now, in, in a real life situation, you wouldn't use all three of these methods. You would use just one. Okay, but I'm showing you that we can use, there are three different methods that we can calculate the lower cost or market. We can do it by every single item. So in this case, the item is plasma, LCD, PC, or laptop. So let's do that one first, okay? Plasma, 
What's the lower one? The cost or the market? Which is lower? Well, cost is lower. So that's all you do. Very simple. 5,000. Okay? For our LCD, uh, LCD TVs, which is lower? Cost or the market? The lower one is the cost. Okay? And now we just continue on. For the PCs, what's lower? Cost or market? In this case, it's the market. And lastly, our laptops, what's lower? Cost or market? It's the market. Okay. Now, if we want to total these all up, they would total, it says 20, 32, 37,000. So there would be our total for lower cost or market for by item. Okay? So if a problem asks you, calculate the lower of cost or market for these inventory items using items, this is how you do it. You do the lower of cost or market by each item. And your solution would be 37,000. And here it is by each item. Okay? If the problem asks you to do this by category, then what you're going to do is you're going to look at, well, the category. We have two categories in this image. We've got TVs and we've got computers, okay? So what you do is you don't look at items, you look at the subtotals for the categories. What's lower? Market, I mean, I'm sorry, cost or market? In this case, it is the cost. So that would be 17,000. And in this one, what's lower? Cost or market? In this case, it would be market is lower, 20,000. So then when you total these up, it just so happens that it also equals 37,000. That's not always the case, but sometimes it can be. But since we didn't have very many items here, uh, that can happen frequently, okay? But you can see that we did it by category. We didn't do it by item, we did it by these subtotals, by the category, okay? Now, lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the whole inventory. So if the problem asks you to calculate lower of cost or market by the whole category, you still have to multiply all these things out, the units times the cost, units times the market, get all this information, but then you just look at the whole inventory. And which one's lower? In this case, it's, oops, it's the market, 37,900. So our whole inventory would be 37,900 if you were doing it by the whole inventory. Okay, so now we've gone through an example of lower cost or market. Uh, let me just remind you that this information, all of this information over here, this direction, this all is given to you. Okay, in homework problems, on tests, this information would need to be given to you. Okay, and then the problem on homework or test is going to say calculate by item, by category, and or the whole inventory. So then what you need to do is you need to multiply all these out to get your uh, total cost and total market so that you can do your subcategories, you know, your subtotals, and then the total for the whole market, I mean for the whole inventory, and then you can uh, choose by items, category, and whole uh, what's the lower cost per market. Okay? Well, good luck with this chapter. Uh, we'll be moving on to the next chapter very soon. Good luck.